Hello YouTubers, Paul here, your channel host, welcome to my channel. Well if you check on two videos below this one, or to the right of this one, which is my left, because obviously as you know by now, uh, the screen's reversed. Um, I want to see, there's a review of um, the, the new Ken Loach film, I, Daniel Blake, that's out in cinemas now. I definitely recommend you go and see it. Um, and the film, it's the storyline is about a guy who, in his 50s, he has a heart attack and he's forced to rely on the state benefit for the first time in his life. And he's turned down for an ESA, Employment Support Allowance, um, or, well, it's now actually personal independent payment, which I'm going to get on to. Um, he, he doesn't score enough points, so he's got to, um, to get money. He's got to apply for jobs because he's got to uh, go on job seeker's allowance. Even though the doctors and the specialists have actually said that he can't work. Um, they've told him that he can't work, but according to job centre people, they know best. Um, so it's about the bureaucracy surrounding the, the job centre and the door and stuff. Um, and also in the, pro, in the film, um, a woman who's living down in London in a bed sit with just a room and a bed with two kids is forced to move uh 300 miles up here to london i mean from london to newcastle to get a flat uh, or a house big enough for her and her kids so it's about like the uh the social like the, basically the the government and um how everything is wrong about britain at the moment so i thought i would <coughs> tell you about my experiences with the doll itself and also personal independent payment now, yes, I know there's a lot of people, a lot of people, work, a lot more worse off than me, um, but this is my experiences anyway. Um, if you have a look in the uh, playlist, by the way, on my channel, Dole and Job Centre, which these are going to be uh, in, there's one called Dole and there's one called Job Centre Vlogs. So, yeah, they're both being, this will be in both of those. Um, you will see me past experiences with Dole when I was actually on. Um, about two years ago, in the January, I went down to London for the National TV Awards. Go down every year, went down for the night, um, returned the following day, um, or the following evening, sorry. So, went down on the day of the awards, um, I had a night kept in London in the Travel Lodge, and then I had a day exploring London and came back on the last train on the, the following night. I wasn't signing on that week, but me, two ones for me on good, signed up or filled a holiday form in at the job centre. And one of the questions was, would you be willing to return from uh, holidays to take up offer employment or an interview? I ticked the box and said no. And there was a reason. And I said, because of lack of uh, funds, because everything was pre-booked. They sanctioned us, the job centre sanctioned us because I wasn't re willing to return from work or willing to return from work. Um, luckily, my dad wrote us a letter to say that um, he would have been willing to give us the cash to get back if I'd been uh, given an interview or a job in the reverse of, reverse of a position. Another time was um, I used to sign on on a Wednesday, so my job centre week would go from a Wednesday to a Thursday, then from a Thursday to a Wednesday. So this particular week, or this particular fortnight, I hadn't done any applications in the first week, but I'd been on Indeed and Read and saved loads of applications to do in the following, or jobs to do in the following week. And the following week I did about 15 or 20 applications. Got sanctioned again because I hadn't done any applications in the first week. There was also another thing that came in just before I signed up. Um, you had to do 35 hours worth of job search in a week. And I said to the people that were jobs and i said how am i supposed to prove that i'm doing 35 hours worth of job search in a week i said i could have wrote a whole load of bollocks on my excuse the language i could have wrote a whole load of crap on my uh, direct.gov account and to say that i was applying for this meant x amount of jobs or, and doing this amount of hours but what was easier is when i apply on in when i used to apply on indeed or on read you get an email sent back to you with a confirmation of the job you'd applied for with a reference number and I used to copy and paste those into read into my direct.gov account. It was a lot easier. Um, 
The other thing I was going to talk about as well while I was doing this um, this video was person independent payment. Last year, I applied because I've got epilepsy. Um, I'm just I'm working at the moment, but I'm trying to keep the hours low because every time I start in call centres, which I'm working in a call centre environment at the moment, my fits go through the roof. So I'm trying to keep the hours low. I applied for personal independent payment on the, the basis of my epilepsy. Turned down for it because I didn't score enough points like in the Ken Loach film. This year, in May, um, if you check back in June, I think it was, I did a video about me being diagnosed with autism with anxiety. I've applied again for me personal independent payment, but on the strength of um, autism and epilepsy. Um, and when I got the form again to fill it in, I did a draft copy with my learning support mentor from Newcastle College. Sarah, if you're watching this, she is your big help. Haven't heard back yet, but when she went through it with us, she, she went through each section because last year I missed a load up. I wasn't as honest as I should have been. And she went through a load of it with us and she said, I, I haven't even put what I, sh what I should have been doing. Or what uh, I haven't, I'd missed loads of it off. There's a lot more hidden behind closed doors than me, you see. Um, I'm not going to go into details, but as I say, I'm still waiting to hear back from the uh, personal independent payment. Um, I had the assessment in September. Still waiting to hear back, and it's now the 7th of November. Anyway, I'm going to get going, and I'll see you later, YouTubers.